Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today it's all about ridiculous or genius pregnancy products. We have quite a bit, so <laughs> let's just jump right in. This first one I'm really excited about because you guys actually suggested this. There was one person in particular that sent a picture and I had to get it right away. This right here is a pedicure footrest. It's great for pedicures and clipping nails. Sounds fun. But this right here, it's literally a footrest that has adjustable heights to do your pedicure. So if you can't bend down or you have, you know, a belly in the way like pregnant women <laughs> like myself right now, it's very hard to give myself a pedicure. So if you don't like going to salon or you just wanna do your nails at home, this right here looks really cool and really promising and genius, I might add. This retails for, let's see how much it is on Amazon, $29.43 and it's rated actually really good. Not too many ratings, but the ratings that it does have pretty high and I'm excited that it's not too expensive. So it has some really cool built-in features. <laughs> it has a built-in drawer for storage, which is great. It has a USB magnifier and a drying fan. Love that. And it's also portable and you can just store it away. So I'm excited, let's try it out. I'm, cause I need to do my toes, they're bare right now. So this is the perfect time to do it. Let's see how easy this is to set up. Comes in a little baggie, I like that. Very cute pink. There you go. Got adjustable little legs. It looks like something for kids. Does it? Yeah. And then the actual footrest, you can add, I think there's I think they said three different levels. Oh yeah, see Emmer wants it. Okay. Where do we put the double A batteries? Because that's for the magnifier. Oh, you need the screwdriver, the super, super tiny little one. I think the one thing I really want to see is it really like, comfortable. Oh, why did that bed just fell? Hammer it. You're in the shot, buddy. <laughs> People can't see what mama's doing. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna model it for me. Okay, I can, I can see this. My belly is still in the way, so I feel like I have to kind of readjust. But I mean, this versus up here, like this, you know, I'm kind of in the way. So having this little pedestal for my toes, I actually like this, it's cool. Are you gonna use your magnifying glass? Yeah, you want me to show you? Yeah, show us. Does it work? Yeah, it actually works. <laughs> you think it's convenient? Look at that. Do you ever see yourself doing it? No. Because I have really good eyesight, but I can see people that a poor eyesight. Like it actually shows you how close you are, which is really cool. I think the one thing it's missing is a light with the magnifier. I don't think this has a light or- It does. Oh, it does, it's right here. So that's what it would work if the batteries were in there, but that's cool. Okay, so overall, I do think this product, this pedicure stool <laughs> is actually pretty genius, but I wish it was better quality, but then it's under $30. So don't expect high quality. It works. All I need to do is just double A battery. The magnifying glass is great. I like the foot rest, but you guys saw I was putting my foot up. When you put it up, it kind of just bends down. It likes to go down. So that way this part actually comes out. <laughs> so then you have to readjust it when you put your foot back on or just don't put your foot at the very bottom. So there is little things that are kind of annoying, but it works and it's pretty genius and it does feel a lot more comfortable on the belly instead of like bending over even more. So I do like that. I think if anything, I wish this was higher. So if the couch or wherever you're sitting is too high, you have to bend more. So I feel like if this was even more adjustable to make it higher even more, I would love that even more. So basically someone should make a pro professional version of this with really high quality materials. Okay, this one sounds a little ridiculous, but it might be genius. So this right here is a maternity seatbelt adjuster. Keep comfortable without sacrificing safety. I'm not sure how safety this, this really is or how safe this product is because it doesn't come with any of our cars. <laughs> so this is an extra thing you have to buy. So you are altering your seatbelt. <laughs> 
<laughs> so keep that in mind. This right here is around like $19. It's kind of like extending your seatbelt away from your belly. So that way you're more comfortable. So it's not sitting right on top of your belly, the seatbelt. Let's try it out. I'm really curious if this is even going to work or fit our car. The way to secure this and to make sure your seatbelt actually holds, it has to go underneath, like all the way around through the seat. And I believe my seat, it doesn't have an opening in the back. So that's the only thing I'm concerned about is that you can't really install it universally. Okay, so we think Andre's car will work. I think I'm just gonna try to shove it through as much as I can. I think this is a good two person job. I think it's working. <laughs> Let me check the back. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> maybe you should have done this. This belly is in the way. Okay, I'll go do it. Oh man, you have a lot of wires back here, but I think got it. See? Whew. <laughs> okay. Have your have your husband do it, not. So then. Not the wife. So we were talking about it, and I um, don't know if this is regu it per say regulation. That it is. Yeah, we don't know how if this has been tested, if it's safe, if it actually works, safety wise. Yeah. Um, to alter so, your seatbelt this so way. So that's, yeah, that's a little questionable. I would say from that point of view, it's very ridiculous that they don't state any type of regulation, that US regulation. Yeah, because- Just because they said it does. That just needs because nothing. it's be more comfortable, like if something happens, God forbid, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you would be in trouble. You took on that responsibility without this thing being tested. You know what I mean? So this is the regular way. It goes over the belly and it's honestly pretty comfortable. Like I can't complain right now. So what they're doing is taking the bottom por portion so it doesn't actually hug your belly. It hugs in between your legs. So let's do that. <laughs> this is so awkward. So now it's putting all the pressure on my thighs. So if anything happens, the belly is not protected. The belly is completely open. Yeah. But I mean, it's definitely, it's not bad. It's not uncomfortable, but it is putting all the pressure right here on the thighs, as you can see on the legs. And I feel like this thing is weird looking. The whole like regulation safety, like there's nothing about it on the website, on Amazon or anything like that. And nothing, usually if there would be some kind of regulations done or testing Test, done testing, yeah. it would be on their actual thing like hey we've tested we're approved you're good to go do it you know but it's nowhere there so basically buy it at your own risk if you are going to do this and that's ridiculous and that's yeah i i personally wouldn't recommend mm -hmm. this at all okay so this next one is a prenatal cradle plus <laughs> go down public and that looks fun you know why not <laughs> so it's supposed to be a full support for your to torso, tummy, and your back. It's actually kind of expensive. Not kind of, it's very expensive. It's $88.72 from, from Walmart. But I'm excited to see if this is actually going to kind of lift and cradle and support the belly. And if it's going to help, you know, ease any kind of pain or pressure. Cause I have quite a bit of pressure and pain in my lower back. Is just a little uncomfortable. And then in my higher back, you know, just like everything is just so big in the front. <laughs> so let's see if this is comfy and see if I can even wear it for like 30 minutes to an hour or if it's just gonna be really uncomfortable. All right, so let's try this out right here. I'm hoping this fits because we've got a medium. Oh man, this looks so bad and Emma is gonna be helping me. So this is supposed to be in the front, that's in the back. I think we've figured this out, Bobby. I think. Nope. That's supposed to be underneath. <laughs> this is tiring, even just for me. <laughs> just to watch myself do this. Okay. So then you put this over, like so. Really 
Yeah, see, it's not really, it's not doing anything because it's all so loose. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is that? <laughs> Emirate, are you impressed? <laughs> I think we got a size too big because I don't feel any kind of support or anything like that. This is just way too big. In the butt, <laughs> these right here. You can tighten this right here, but they're tightened as much as they can. Is that funny? Yeah, I think I got a size too big. Cause even this, this is all way too loose. I feel like if it was the right size, it'd be maybe a lot more comfortable. Cause it's just kind of like a diaper holding you in, honestly. <laughs> there you go. There you go, I think this is kind of a fail. I kind of like the other belly bands better where it's a little more support all the way up to like past your belly button because I feel like it holds more. But this is not really doing anything. It's just making me look ridiculous. <laughs> look, look at this. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs> so this one right here, it's called the giraffe razor extension handle. I thought this was just genius for pregnant women, especially if you don't have like a seat or a stand or a bench in your shower. I think this is so great to just have an extension for your razor to shave, especially when the belly gets big and just obnoxious. It gets uncomfortable to bend down <laughs> that far to shave your legs. I thought this would be really great. And this is not just for pregnant women, obviously. It's for anybody that has difficulty bending down. But let's give this a go, see how it compares and see if I can get a pretty close shave or if it's gonna be feeling flimsy, you know, things like that. So we're gonna check the razor right now, the razor extension. So step one, we gotta figure out which head fits my razor and it looks like it's gonna be the first one, which is the small one. It has this little like mechanism and then you just slide it in like so. Nope, this way. There you go. All right. <laughs> it extends even more. <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's pretend I don't have this bench in front of me. I will say, I'm doing very minimal amount of bending. That's pretty cool. I will be honest though, you probably won't get the closest shave, but it's gonna be good enough. <laughs> You know what I mean? Good enough, especially when you can't bend over. I think it's totally fine. This is actually pretty cool. But the thing is, if you have a bench, it's even better. You know what I mean? Or if you have like a stool or something else in the shower, like this, it's like you have more control. You know what I mean? And you have a lot more of a closer shave. But it's cool, it works get the job done. So this right here looks really, really awesome. When I typed in pregnancy must-haves on Amazon, this was one of the results. This right here is an ortho three-piece orthopedic bed wedge pillow set. It's post-surgery, it has memory foam, it's for your back, for your leg, or your knee pain. You can use this pillow for sitting, and you also, it's an adjustable pillow, so like if you can't sleep, laying flat, it kind of adjusts you. But I felt like this would be great for when I'm like lounging in bed on the couch and I just need extra support for my back <laughs> and for the belly. I thought this was great. I definitely want to sleep with this personally just because I have a separate like pregnancy pillow or I'll just use a regular pillow in between my knees. But I thought this was great for like lounging around the house, you know, especially like this far along in the pregnancy in the third trimester. You want to be comfy when you're relaxing. Like, I want to try that also. <laughs> See how comfortable it is? Yeah. <laughs> this right here, it retails for $89.97. So let's give this a go. See how comfortable it is. Let's see if it's even relieves any kind of pressure. So that one is for Lane, it looks like, that configuration. Mm -hmm. Do we put the pillow up here? So I'm going to lay down. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> so you still get supported. I think this is good for when you're lounging or when you need to sleep and you're congested. Cause I feel like I could totally sleep like this. This is like perfect for like watching a show, like binge watching something. I mean, I could, I could see the, I could see this <laughs> yeah. working for a lot of 
Uh, and thanks. Not even just pregnancy, like... Yeah, when like you have back pain or anything like that. And there's a lot of different configurations you can do. It's whichever way you want, which is cool. That's why they have those little triangles. That way you can really customize it to what you need. And you don't even need to have the pillow. Like one of the pictures, the girl was literally sitting upright, like in a slant, and she has her one arm like elevated. So maybe if your arm is also like hurting or broken or whatever. But I like the pillow, I like that it has the option. It's actually really soft. It's kind of like that velvet material, very soft and it's cushiony. It's a memory foam. Do you want to try it? Yeah. I mean, you were installing lights outside. <laughs> you look comfy. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Alright, okay, so I'm trying the next configuration. We're like sitting up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's, I would say pretty comfy. I would, the one thing I would do is just add extra pillows underneath my knees so I'm like really elevated. <laughs> now I'm good. <laughs> Honey, come take care of your pregnant wife. Peel, peel me some grapes and fan me. There you come. <laughs> this is actually really comfortable. Now this is really, really nice. I like this. Baby's enjoying it too. Yeah, so this is what right here. This is very fascinating. It's called the bareback. This is very fascinating. It's called the bareback. This right here is a lotion applicator for your back, for your legs, again, if you can't bend a certain way. But this looked so fascinating. It, it might be actually genius. This right here retails for $24.97. Crazy good reviews, super high. You have over 1,100 reviews. But this right here, I found that it looked so, so fascinating because this, you don't actually put lotion inside, you put it on the outside. So you're essentially painting yourself with lotion <laughs> or you know, suntan lotion, self tan. I have a hard time getting the back of my body. <laughs> There's a lot of weird spots back there, but this looked really fascinating. And I thought this would be perfect time to test this out while I'm really far in my pregnancy, really pregnant. And if Andre's not home, he can't help me with my lotion in the back. I can do it myself. Let's see how good this is. All right, so let's try this. I'm actually not gonna put this on my back just because I feel like demonstrating it on my back but I will show it like, you know, over my clothes. But I would, do want to do my legs because right now it's the hardest to bend down, you know? So let's put some lotion on. Let's get a nice close up of these. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm gonna paint my feet, my legs. I'm gonna say it doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that. You like it? <laughs> That's actually really nice. But you can see it's not. It's not even. It's not distributing some of that product as nice. You probably need something very, like a very light lotion, not something super thick. I feel like you need the warmth of your hands, you know, to really melt the lotion onto your legs. I think this might be better for like some less tanning lotion. I feel like it also wasted a lot of product. Look at that. It soaked in a ton of my lotion. Yeah. I think this will be good for, like I said, some less tanning lotion when you're tanning, so you don't have to get your hands dirty. Um, yeah. It's a cool experience, but yeah. No, I wouldn't use this for my lotion time. I would just ask Andre to help me if I need help in areas where I need to put lotion on. <laughs> yeah. It's genius, but it's kind of ridiculous at the same time. Well, there you guys have it. Some of these products were ridiculous, and then some of these products were just straight up genius. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, had some fun with me and Andre, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.